Hello, Valerie Chaudine here again, and I am going to play with this little star stencil I designed for Stencil Girl products on black paper. Now I'm just gonna use some acrylic paint on the black paper. I'm gonna start with some white and then layer some colors on top of that. So I am gonna tape this down because I'm doing more than one layer, even though it's a small space here. This would also be great on a card, and then in the middle could be the writing or the greeting from the card. You just want to see it? Oh, nice. Okay. Now, what colors? I think I'm going to use some transparent yellow iron oxide and a little bit of turquoise, but I'll give them their own sponge. So I'm just going to go in with some this. And you can see I'm not being very careful with it. I'm just dabbing it on. I do have a dry cosmetic sponge here. And I'm working fast. And I said turquoise, but I think I'm going to use some more truer blue. Just add a little bit of that in here to see how that looks. Because I don't want it to be as green as the turquoise would make it. I think I need a little more. Yeah, that's more of what I'm looking for here. Just kind of around the edges. Okay, there's that. Did a little bleeding there, but um, I think I can, I think I should let it dry. Now I could always go in with a black pen, so just know on black paper you can do that. Uh, and I can also add a few more individual stars in here. Oops, I kind of got there. So whenever that happens, which actually it happens to me a lot, I just go in, then maybe that will be a lighter one that looks like it's farther away. And, and if you do some of those, where it looks kind of like it's fading back, then you get more of a deep sky look. Try that a little bit darker. Okay, so there's that, and then I could just do the same thing on this side. I could even flip this over so it looks like it's continuing, but there's a different set of stars. So I won't show you that since it would be the same thing, but I will show you how I would just go in and you can use any pen. Maybe I'll use a brush pen and just Clean up a little bit of the edges here. You get the idea here. And then if I want to, I can go in with even some metallic. So let's say if I want to go in with some gold, 
I can put in some gold and I'm just going to use the same sponge I did for the yellow iron oxide because they're so similar. I could even mix some white in there. And then a few of these stars are the same size. Some aren't, but some are. And I can add them kind of on the inside that they'll have a little border. So then there's an outline of this star there. I could even go over one to make it bigger too if I wanted. I could use the bigger stencil to stencil those dots or I also could do some sky spray with some gold or white or both to look like stars. So dip my toothbrush in water and then in some paint here and just flick it like that and I just love that look it kind of covers up all the mistakes too so isn't that a great night sky and you can just write something special in in there I think I'll continue it over to this side okay thanks for joining me for this video I've continued the painting to the other side and I'm quite pleased with these journal pages that make me want to sparkle and shine. I hope they do you as well. And if you haven't checked out my video on the larger star stencil and the journal pages, do that at ValerieShodine.com. Let's sparkle and shine. <laughs>